When you are finished with the creation of the toolpaths, you need to save the toolpaths in order to convert them into a format that your CNC machine will understand. As you can see here, I have generated three toolpaths, OG Recess, Window and Outside. In order to save the toolpaths, I need to select the Save Toolpaths icon, which is the first one under Toolpath Operations. This will open up another window and have all of my toolpaths listed on the right hand side. You'll also notice that they have tool numbers next to them. All of mine in this list have a tool number of one, which is fine if I have a single headed machine. But if I have an automatic tool changer, I would need to change these tool numbers to the position that these tools are located in the carousel on my tool changer. For instance, the Roman OG 6mm that I'm using may be located at position 2. I would need to exit the Save Toolpath dialog and select the tool from the project tree. This will then display its parameters below the splitter bar along with the tool number which I can change to 2 and select Apply. Now when I select the Save Toolpaths, the tool number for the Roman OG will be listed as tool number 2. I'm just going to switch it back to tool number one for the purpose of this video so it acts as though I have a single headed machine. On the bottom left there are a couple of check boxes. The first is save toolpaths to separate files which is something that is really useful if you do have a single headed CNC machine. If you do not select this and save the toolpaths as they are now the output would be just one file. You can do it manually by moving the files from the right to the left, but it is much quicker to just select this checkbox. Below it is a checkbox to append toolpath details to file names. This basically adds the toolpath group and the name to the outputted file name so you know what they are. Below this is add home move at the end of the file. This moves the tool back to the origin rather than just stopping when the cutting has finished. Save in and file name basically let you select the location to save and choose the name that you would like to call it. Below that is machine file format. Now this is a large list of CNC and laser machines. They are commonly known as post processors or just posts. They are basically files that will convert the information from the toolpaths in ArtCam into a format that your machine will understand. Just select your machine from the list and then you select save. You will have each toolpath saved as a file in the location that you specified. These files are just text files and contain coordinates and commands to tell the machine how to cut your part. And you need to take these files send them to your CNC and you can machine your piece 